Hello, in today's video, we will be giving you an overview of the leading social gaming company called Zynga, the company's history, some keys about the company, services, financials, and some advantages and disadvantages of the company. Let's get straight into the video. Zynga Overview Mark Pincus established Zynga, a leading social gaming company, in 2007. Farmville, Mafia Wars, and Words with Friends, among other well-known Facebook and mobile games, are the company's most well-known offerings. At first, Zynga concentrated on developing games that could be played on social networking sites like Facebook and MySpace. However, the company shifted its focus to developing games for mobile devices as mobile gaming gained popularity. Zynga has a large selection of games for players of all skill levels, from casual to serious. Mafia Wars, in which players can build their own mafia and compete with other players, and Farmville, in which players can build and manage their own virtual farm, are two of the company's most popular games. Zynga has been known for its innovative use of in-game advertising and virtual goods, which have contributed significantly to the company's significant revenue, in addition to producing well-liked games. San Mateo, California, serves as the headquarters of the company. Zynga's Key Facts 1. Founding Year It was founded in April 2007. 2. Company Type Zynga is public company. 3. Industry Type Entertainment and Video Games 4. Trading Type It is traded on NASDAQ under the ticker, Zynga. 5. Workforce Strength it had over 2,900 employees as of 2021. Let's quickly dive into Zynga's history. Mark Pincus, Eric Shiremeyer, Justin Waldron, Michael Luxton, Steve Shetler, and Andrew Trader founded Zynga in 2007. At first, the company's primary focus was on developing social media games for MySpace and Facebook. Texas Hold'em Poker, Zynga's first game, was released in 2008. It quickly became a hit and helped the company become a leader in the social gaming industry. With the release of well-known games like Cafe World, Farmville, and Mafia Wars in 2009, Zynga continued to expand its game catalog. Zynga became one of the best Facebook game developers thanks to these games, and the company started making a lot of money from in-game purchases. Zynga raised over $1 billion in funding when it went public in 2010 with a highly successful initial public offering. In addition to continuing to release well-liked games like Cityville and Words with Friends, the company formed partnerships with major brands like Adidas and McDonald's. Zynga faced difficulties in 2011 due to increased competition and a saturating social gaming market. Additionally, the company was criticized for its questionable business practices and reliance on in-game purchases. Zynga continued to release popular games like Castleville and Hidden Chronicles despite these difficulties. In 2012, Zynga attempted to keep up with its development and confronted monetary difficulties. A number of lawsuits were filed against the business after a significant number of employees were laid off. In spite of these difficulties, the organization delivered effective games like Farmville 2 and Chefville. Zynga faced challenges in 2013 as it tried to compete in a changing market. The organization made a progression of acquisitions and partnerships, however confronted difficulties in enhancing its revenue streams. The company still managed to release popular games like Farmville 2, Country Escape and New Word with Friends. Zynga continued to concentrate on mobile gaming in 2014, and formed partnerships with major businesses like Hasbro and Disney. Additionally, the company produced successful games like Farmville, Zynga Poker and Tropic Escape. Zynga faced difficulties in 2015, as the social gaming market continued to change. The business entered into a number of partnerships and acquisitions, but it was unable to sustain its growth and faced financial difficulties. The company still managed to release popular games like Farmville, Harvest Swap and Words with Friends 2. Zynga continued its focus on mobile gaming in 2016, forming partnerships with major corporations like Marvel and Warner Brothers, and releasing popular games like Farmville, Harvest Escape and Zynga Poker, Texas Hold'em. Revenue was $233.3 million in the fourth quarter of 2017, a 22% increase from the same period in 2016. This was the company's best quarterly performance in five years. Zynga had 1,681 employees, 
approximately 80 million monthly active users, and a $3.39 billion market capitalization as of January 2018. Since its inception in 2007, the company claims that more than 1 billion people have played its games. Take-Two Interactive announced its intention to acquire Zynga on January 10, 2022, in a cash and stock transaction valued at $12.7 billion. Take-Two would acquire all of Zynga's outstanding shares for $9.86 each. The transaction was anticipated to conclude in June. The merger was approved by both companies' shareholders on May 19, 2022, and the transaction was completed on May 23. Before we continue, if you are getting value from this video, kindly help us to put this video in front of many that may need it by smashing the like button and sharing this video with people that it will interest in your network. Thank you for staying tuned. Moving on is, Zynga's services. One of the key services offered by Zynga is its mobile and web-based games. The company has a portfolio of popular games such as Farmville, Cityville, and Words with Friends. These games are available on various platforms, including Facebook, iOS, and Android. The games are designed to be engaging and addictive, with regular updates and new features added to keep players coming back. Another important service that Zynga provides is its capacity for social networking. Players can now connect with friends, and share their progress and achievements, by integrating the company's games with popular social networks. Because it enables players to compete with and support one another, this social aspect of the games is a key component of their appeal. Zynga sells virtual goods in addition to its mobile and web-based games. These are digital items that can be purchased by players and put to use in the games to improve their experience or move forward more quickly. Extra lives, power-ups, and virtual currency are all examples of virtual goods. The company makes a lot of money from these virtual goods. In general, Zynga's services are made to give users a fun and interesting gaming experience. The company's portfolio of well-known games, social networking features, and virtual goods provide a wide range of services that are popular with a large number of people. Let's talk about Zynga's key financials. Zynga's revenue increased by 14% to $669 million in the first quarter of 2022, according to its financial report. Strong performance from its mobile games, which accounted for 87% of total revenue, fueled this expansion. In addition, over the year, the company's live services revenue, which includes advertising and in-game purchases, increased by 23% to $620 million. 2. Zynga's first quarter 2022 net income of $58 million, was an 8% increase from the previous year in terms of profitability. Additionally, the operating margin of the business increased to 22%, up from 19% the year before. 3. In addition to strong revenue growth and profitability, Zynga also demonstrated a strong financial position in 2022. The company's cash and cash equivalents increased by 31% over the year to $1.7 billion, while its long-term debt remained relatively stable at $1.1 billion. Finally, is Zynga's pros and cons. Pros. 1. Zynga provides millions of players worldwide with a wide selection of well-known and engaging games. 2. Users can easily connect with friends and participate in games on Facebook, where the company has a significant presence. 3. Zynga is an affordable option for gamers because it provides free-to-play games that are accessible to users of all skill levels and financial resources. 4. The company regularly adds new features and content to its games, giving players new and exciting experiences. Cons. 1. Zynga has faced criticism from players for its reliance on microtransactions, which can result in a pay-to-win scenario in some games. 2. Some customers have voiced concerns about their privacy regarding the company's use of personal data. 3. Some games from Zynga have been criticized for being too similar to other popular games, which has led to accusations of copying and lack of originality. 4. In recent years, the company has struggled financially, resulting in layoffs and reorganization efforts. In conclusion, Zynga is still a major player in the video game industry, and has established itself as a major player in social gaming. 
Singa's combination of innovation, user experience, and monetization strategies has made it a market leader in the social gaming industry, despite the difficulties it continues to face today as it adjusts to a changing market. The business is well positioned to maintain its leadership position in the market, as it continues to develop and grow. That's all we've got for you today. Kindly share your thoughts and Zynga game experience in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on your notifications so you will be notified when next we post a video.